Oh my goodness. First time I've seen the driveway in a whole week. It's been under thick ice for a whole week. Can you believe it? So, can you hear? There's a well house. And right on the other side of the well house, it's the running, babbling brook. It's all kinds of research proving the sounds of nature, especially water, and being in the woods and by the water does wonderful things for your health. Wait, duh! So let me continue on talking about health. There are three things that cause your health to exist as it does. And that's the relationship you have with yourself. Most people have no idea who they are. You're not who you think you are. The who you think you are was defined by people when you were a little kid and you couldn't stop the messages they were sending. You're not who other people think you are for pretty much the same reason. So when you discover who you are, then, oh my gosh, your whole world opens and changes. And it's extraordinary because so many things can't work until you know who you really are. The next type of relationship is the one you have with other people. You know, in my health care practice of more than 20 years, I found very clearly 100% of issues that people had. They were either issues they had with themselves, not knowing who they were, issues with other people, that's a biggie, or issues with whatever their spiritual belief is in a higher power. Those are the three kind of imbalances that cause blocks in your chakras. You may have heard of that. People who do Reiki, Amanahuna, people who do energy work. Or if you've ever gotten acupuncture, acupressure, your energy highways, your meridians, all of these are fields, highways of energy they get blocked because each chakra, each meridian, each highway has a specific emotional power associated with it. I want to go into that now because it's quite complex and very accurate. And as I said, the last type of imbalance is between you and a higher power, whatever your belief is. I see a lot, a lot of imbalances, of people being unclear on their spiritual belief being held in their body. Now, when people say, you know what, I want to eat the way I want to eat, I don't want to exercise, I just want to enjoy my life, I don't care if it's shorter. They say that until, until they get really sick. Then they get scared and they get desperate and they're saying things like, Oh, why couldn't I have changed? I wish I had done this differently, that differently. You know, there's no such thing as this happens because of your age. What happens when you get older is a result of your lifestyle. And the older that you get, if you've been running an unhealthy lifestyle, duh, of course your body's going to break down. Your health is up to you. And sometimes you need a little help educating yourself. And that's what relationship intelligence is about. Because it's not just about your marriage or your partnership. It's about your relationship to yourself, to a higher power, and to other people. Now, right now, I'm creating a way for you to be able to tell where your biggest imbalance is. So you can start focusing there. And so you keep a watch up here on the site. I'm Ellie Beerman at yourrelationshipintelligence.com. Keep your eye out for that. It'll be a quiz helping you determine how to best take care of your relationship intelligence and build it and grow it into what you've always wished it could be.